A dancer, singer and actor, she is the triple threat from the block. And when it comes to the red carpet, Jennifer Lopez certainly knows how to get it right. And this morning, we're going to help you recreate her Golden Globes glow with some top tips from hairstylist Tori Keane and makeup artist Derek Carberry. And I'm delighted to say J-Lo flew straight over from the Golden from Globes LA. and is here. <laughs> Natalia, you're an excellent stand-in. And she looked gorgeous, Thank didn't she? Funny. So gorgeous. We've discussed here in the ad break, weren't mad on the dress, mm -hmm. why would you cover up that body? But hair and makeup top marks. Oh yeah, I was so impressed with her makeup because a lot of the times they play it safe in order to show off the dress. So hair and makeup is usually quite muted for the Oscars and the Golden Globes. But I knew she'd go so glamorous because she always does. Um, so I think she was a good choice and it was the most kind of I suppose effective look of the night I think. Yeah. You know, in terms of hair and makeup anyway. So we're going to see a little bit later on you're going to work on <laughs> Natalia over the course of the show but you're prepping the skin at the minute Derek. So yeah. what are you going to be using? So what I've used so far is, is this amazing product called Beauty Base from Amy Con Connolly Sculpted. And I've mixed it with the foundation with a Max, Fa Max Factor Face Finity. And this is an all-day flawless foundation, but it also has a primer and concealer built in as okay. well. So I've been mixing the two. And as you can see, you're getting that lovely J-Lo glow already with the skin. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have, literally. I have not concealed under the eyes. It's just the base with the dewiness and the foundation mixed in together as well. And do you moisturize? Because sometimes I wonder about doing that because that can make it more uh, shiny exactly. than you want it to be glowy. So Natalia, had, I, we had already had a chat and she had moisturised this morning when she got up, so it had been well soaked in. So this is just kind of the extra finishing products that's going to make the foundation look wow and very dewy and J-Lo glow kind of vibe as well. Because you often see with the celebs, they've got the gold sheet masks mm. on and all yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So prep is the important. Prep, like the night before, prepping with their sheet masks, doing their kind of their facials and all that kind of stuff as well. Sure, over there they're doing the B12 injections and they're doing all sorts of things. So you can just imagine... Doing what they're doing in LA but yeah most definitely the prep is very important and to create that uber kind of dewy skin is very important for this particular look as well. Well it was quite heavy eye makeup so I can't mm. wait yeah, to see that. Yeah it's quite a strong look but that's why we picked um, J-Lo this week. Myself and Tori were chatting and we're going who do we go for and we decided to go for J-Lo because she always looks impeccable, mm -hmm. always glamorous and you can always know that it's going to be a very wow factor as mm -hmm. well. What about the hair then? A big braid. So yes. would you say part of it is false hair or oh, I'd not? I'd say all of it is false hair. Right. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. So look, I have like all this, I have all this. Oh. And I plan on using it. Okay. <laughs> so I, um, I actually, the prep is important for hair too, especially if it's going to be like a really sleek up style like what J-Lo had. So I prepped her whole head with my braid sheen, which is from Mane and Tail. Um, it's not just for braids, but it's fabulous for braids. So okay. it's really good prepping. It kind of takes the softness out of it. It takes the flyaways away. And would you um, spray that onto fake hair? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, and then you use that to get the so tangle brush, out. Yeah, it's not even just to get the tangle out. It's to make it more um, texturised, easier to work with, more pliable. Okay. Because when the hair is just washed, it can be quite soft and also quite flyaway. So it's good to have, like, a, you know, a product on the base. So I use that. And then I'm going to use... Well, I have already started to use... I was showing you this. Um, Top tip here yes. now, I have to say. So this is ultra glued, got to be. It's, like, the best gel that you can use for this type of look. And if you just apply some on the back of your hand... And then use either a mascara wand Did or you a. that on me? Oh, sorry, Derek. <laughs> Even though it's grand. Um, we share everything. Yeah, we do. Now, you can also, if you don't have Derek, you can use um, an old toothbrush. Right, you know, you or a new toothbrush. It. Actually, that's really weird. I you know, used a toothbrush one. that's not used. But you don't want to be using a black mascara wand, though, do you? don't want to be using no, a black mascara wand. No, no, this, is, um, this is one that's clean. It's a yeah. disposable one. Okay. Um, and then you get, you know, the way like JLo and Kim Kardashian and all that, they always have these really sleek. This is how you get the well, little. Kim Kardashian had hers lasered off. I know, she? we were just talking about that. I yeah. mean, Natalia, come on, how committed are you to this? <laughs> yeah, I know, imagine though. But you know, we were just saying that too, Natalia, we were talking about it. And she said that Kim Kardashian said that's her greatest regret is to do, oh. is doing that because the baby hairs can actually make you look quite youthful. Okay. And I said the same thing to Natalia. I was like, you need your little baby hairs. It is more youthful. And, okay. You know, so she actually, Kim Kardashian regrets that. Brilliant. So you're going to keep working away, yes. adding fake hair, adding more makeup. And lots of gel. Lots more. Great. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look a little bit later on. Thank you very, Thank very you. much. Now, up next, we're going to be taking you through all the winners and the losers from last night's Golden Globe ceremony. Don't go anywhere.